No. 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 This can't be happening. I don't, I don't believe this. That's right. I know exactly who you are, you little bit. I have come to the belief that I think Kevin McAllister from Home Alone is, I mean, he's, I mean, he's Jigsaw. First of all, I just want to point out that this is in the fictional universe, which means it's not real. But Shiloh, I don't get it. Like, they made Home Alone a long time ago, and then they made Saw in like the, two, the 2000s. It just, the math doesn't add up. Like, sh shut the fuck up. It's not real. It's fictional. It's in a universe, which means we can play around with it any, however we like. Besides, who cares about math? It's, it's the evidence that matters. It's the evidence that points to the truth. And that's what I want to find out. If Kevin McAllister truly is, truly is, Jigsaw. And if it's true, then it's going to change everything. Because everybody knows everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Let's look at the first piece of evidence. So the first thing I want to talk about is somebody already figured this out. So it was Network who said, Oh. My. God. I just realized Home Alone is the story of how the killer from the Saw movies became what he is. Network aka Jason said this. I've been working on this theory for several years, researching, poring over the film. Now, I can say with certainty that Home Alone is in actuality the origin story of Jigsaw through via John Kramer, obviously an alias, the infamous serial killer and mentor to serial killers from the Saw movie series. Jason believes that in Home Alone and in Home Alone 2 Lost in New York that Kevin um, displays anger control issues and that he has a proclivity for violence. But not only to violence but to violent fantasies and voyeuristic tendencies combined with a fetish for recorded or recording video. But then Kevin becomes fascinated by his next door neighbor, who is Old Man Marley. I mean, I know this may seem like nothing, but we all have something food related, either it be candy, chocolate, or pizza we just do not want to share or if somebody else eats our portion but I mean I think we've all been in the situation where there was like either one slice of pizza left and it was already gone and you go and open the pizza box up and there's nothing in there and you're like oh my god I mean let's be real we all have our certain pizza that we like I mean I just like plain uh, pepperoni pizza. That's all I like. I mean, yes, um, some add-ons are nice, but I prefer pizza just with pepperoni. Some people just like cheese pizza. In this case, Kevin just likes cheese pizza. Did anyone order me a plain cheese? Oh yeah, we did. Buffy, you want any? Somebody's gonna have to barf on it all. Yeah, I Look what you did, you little jerk. Jesus, Kevin is just trying to get his cheese pizza and it all ends in ultimate chaos and he gets called a jerk, he gets called a disease. His own mom tells him to go to his room. Kevin eventually orders his own very plain pizza using snippets of dialogue replayed from a videotape to make the team believe that he is going to be shot. Lovely cheese pizza just for me. So this scene is important because Kevin uses this technique to fend off one of the early incursions of thieves such as Harry and Marv. So this is how Kevin deals with his problems. He deals with them in um, aggression, he deals with them in violence, and this is just kind of the starting point of where it begins. 
He throws out anger just like when he pushed that bully who ate his fucking cheese pizza. Family or not, that's fucked up, man. Shiloh, what does this have to do with Saw? Well, it's only in Home Alone 2 is when Kevin starts to begin to record video. But the weird thing about it is, is he records his uncle taking a shower. And he uses that video to frighten hotel workers. And this is where I believe this is one of the beginning points, as where he found scaring people excited him. So then comes the question, is this normal behavior for a child? But I think his twisted path kind of begins when he sees the furnace in the basement. That's his, that's Kevin's first hallucination. And I believe it scared him to death and it pretty much made him into what he became because what can defeat another monster? A monster. So this is the symptom of his psychosis, which makes him evolve into the serial killer, Jigsaw. But Kevin's pathological, complicated home defense mechanisms are similar to Jigsaw's carefully designed murder traps. So the case for Kevin being young Jigsaw becomes a little bit more substantial. Go ahead, hit the like button. It's okay, it'll feel good. Don't worry, there's gonna be a part two. Leave a comment.